Today's lesson is Camila Cabello facing her fears head on. Hello, everybody. I'm Roger, and I'm Helen. And today we're going to continue talking about Camila Cabello, the new singing sensation from the United States. She's actually Cuban American, and last time we found out that she used to be a member of a girl group called Fifth Harmony, and that when she was young, she was really shy. So she overcame her shyness and became the singing sensation that she is today. That's right. She got her start in. The X Factor, which is a television program, and、uh, her time at Fifth Harmony brought her success, and everybody enjoyed listening to their songs. But after a few years, after five years as part of Fifth Harmony, Camila decided to go solo. She decided to launch her own career. That's what she did. So we're going to continue talking about her fabulous career in today's program. So let's get to it. Let's listen to the first part, and then we'll come back to discuss it. Amid rumors of bad blood between her and her former bandmates caused by her departure, Cabello made her solo debut. Gossip didn't hurt her prospects of success, however, since her first album, Camila, reached number one on the Billboard 200 chart and its lead single, Havana, became a mega hit around the world. At the 2019 Grammy Awards, she made history as the first Latina to open the ceremony. Performing alongside Latin music stars Ricky Martin and J Balvin, since then Cabello has continued to please fans with new hits. Hello, first part we see the word debut. This word is a noun, means first appearance, first appearance, first appearance. Li Ru, the actress, had her debut on screen a few years ago and has been in many movies since then. 那名女演员几年前在幕前首次亮相，自此之后出演了许多电影。另外，补充一个相关片语 ，make one's debut， 表示出道、初次登场。例如 ，Matt made his debut as a singer at a small club in New York City. Matt 在纽约市的一家小酒吧初次登台当歌手。接着，我们看到一个名词 prospect， 指前景、成功的机会。作词意时常用复数，像是 My prospects of getting into this university don't look very good right now. 我能成功录取这个大学的机会目前看起来不太乐观。另外，这个字也可以指发生某件事的可能性、展望。举例来说 ，The weather forecast says the prospect of rain is high this weekend. 气象预报说这个周末下雨的可能性很高。再来，我们看到一个单字 Latina， 这个字是名词，指拉丁美洲裔的女子。例如 ，Vicky is a Latina who moved to Taiwan five years ago. Vicky 是一名拉丁美洲裔的女子，五年前搬来台湾居住。接着，我们看到一个单字 alongside， 这个字是介系词，指在点点点旁边和点点点同时一起，像是。We walked on the grass alongside the road, hoping that a car would come by. 我们走在路旁的草皮上，希望会有车经过。或是 The two factory workers work alongside each other all day long. 两名工厂工人整天都在彼此身边一起工作。Okay, now remember, last time we talked about the fact that Camila Cabello was a member of a girl group called Fifth Harmony, but she thought, "Gee, I can't be a solo artist and a member of this band at the same time." So she withdrew and started her solo career. But you know, if you're part of a band with other people, sometimes it's kind of difficult to get along. Right, especially when you're part of a girl group or a boy group like this, because you're put together kind of artificially. You didn't decide to come together on your own. Somebody else, a manager, a business person, decided to put all of you together. And so, if one person decides to leave, that kind of upsets the balance of the group. The other members might think, "Well, what are we going to do now?" So, jumping right into today's lesson, it says here, amid rumors of bad blood between her and her former. Band- Bandmates caused by her departure, Cabello made her solo debut. 
So when Camila made her solo debut, there wasn't a nice feeling between the band members. There was some bad blood, meaning there were bad feelings. So it was amid rumors of bad blood. Actually, I should say we're not sure what happened between the members of the group. There were rumors that they weren't happy about her leaving the band. Yes, that, or perhaps they thought she was getting all the attention when somebody else should have gotten the attention, or something like that. So this is a natural consequence of working together with other people. Eventually, you just start to get on each other's nerves. You just can't stand each other, and you don't want to talk to each other. They were having bad blood, and it was amid those rumors. Amid just means in the middle of something. So I guess these rumors were flying around that they weren't getting along. And they were kind of upset about her departure. You can't leave. We're doing pretty well. If you leave, we're going to be a failure. We won't be able to sell any more albums. So departure means when you leave. Right. So I could say something like Mary quit her job, and her departure from the company surprised all of her coworkers. Exactly, and of course, if you go to the airport and you're looking for flight information, you look at the board for the departures: planes leaving from Taipei, going to Osaka, or going to Beijing, or Manila, or whatever. You look at the departures, the list of planes that are leaving, and of course, the opposite is the arrivals. Okay, so she's leaving here. They were angry about her departure, but she still made her solo debut. Hey, this is kind of a French word, right? Debut. Right. Debut means the first time that a singer or actor or another type of performer appears in public. So she had already appeared in public as part of a girl group, but it was her first time appearing as a solo act. So it was her debut, her solo debut, meaning the first time appearing in public as a solo performer. Exactly. So, of course, if we talk about rumors, we're talking about gossip when people are talking about things or other people. Hey, did you hear what's happening with the boss? He's not getting along with his wife, and they're probably going to get divorced. Oh, really? Have you heard the rumors that maybe the company is going to change its headquarters? It's going to move, and we're all going to get fired.、Uh, that's all company gossip here. So, those have to do with rumors. So, gossip didn't hurt her prospects of success, however. So, even though There were rumors she was still able to perform as a solo performer.、Uh, prospects here just refers to your future potential. That's right. Prospect is the possibility that something can happen. So an example would be: What are the prospects of getting accepted into that college? If I'm talking about a student, and I could say his prospects are low because his grades aren't good enough. Well, my prospects would be very high if I wanted to go to Oxford or Harvard because I am such a clever person. But here, her prospects of success were quite high, and her potential for being successful was not hurt by all that gossip and all those rumors. And that, of course, happened since her first album, Camila, reached number one on the Billboard 200 chart. And its lead single Havana became a mega hit around the world. So I guess her fans didn't really care if there was bad blood in her original band. They loved her songs and her album, and so that song Havana became a mega hit. That's right, and、uh, who knows? Maybe amid all of those rumors and all of that gossip, all of that actually helped her promote her new album. Because you never know, yeah. Yeah, it, when you're famous, all news is good news. Indeed, she needed the publicity there. And at the 2019 Grammy Awards, she made history as the first Latina to open the ceremony, performing alongside Latin music stars Ricky Martin and J Balvin. Okay, so she was.、Uh, The first Latina, which means a female Latino, basically if you're male, you're Latino, and Latina is female in Spanish, and she made history. This had not happened before. She actually opened up the ceremony. I guess before that, the performers were either white or black, but never Latino. Right. So when you make history, you do something so important or so unique that everyone will remember or talk about it later on. So since then, since that time, Cabello has continued to please fans with new hits. A hit, of course, is a popular song. Okay, that brings us to the end of the first part of our lesson. Let's move on and talk some more about Camila Cabello. 
Though Cabello has been very successful, she is open about her struggles with anxiety and obsessive-compulsive disorder. In one long Instagram post to her fans, she shared that her nervous personality almost held her back from becoming a singer. She used to believe that some people were born to be entertainers, but now knows that isn't true. She told her fans, you choose who you're going to be, urging them to push themselves to do what they're afraid of, just like she did. Hold somebody back from 加名词或动词 ing 有阻止、阻碍某人的意思。例如 ，Rachel's family didn't want to hold her back from realizing her dreams. Rachel 的家人不想阻碍她实现她的梦想。另外，片语 hold back 还有以下其他用法：第一，表示克制、压抑情绪、冲动等，像是。Jeff couldn't hold back his feelings, and he told Emma exactly what he thought of her. Jeff 无法压抑自己的情感，向 Emma 吐露对她的真实情感。第二，表示隐瞒、保密、保留讯息，不轻易透露。例如 ，Louis couldn't hold back when Mindy asked how the story ended. Mindy 询问故事结局是什么 ，Louis 没办法忍住不说。第三，表示约束、节制。常用介系词 on 加上限制的事物，我们可以说 You should hold back on the butter if you want to lose weight. 如果你想减重，就应该节制奶油的用量。And so we're talking about Camila Cabello and her rise to fame and how she made. History as being the first Latina to open the ceremony for the Grammy Awards in 2019. So now let's find out a little bit more about Camila and how she is as a person. So here in the next part of our lesson, it says, though Cabello has been very successful, she is open about her struggles with anxiety and obsessive compulsive disorder. So remember, she is successful here, but we begin the sentence with the word "though." You could also say "although," which means even though it's true, it is true that she is successful. Still, she is open about her struggles with various problems because I suppose she thinks other people might be inspired by her success if they have their own personal problems, and that's admirable here. So she has been open about her struggles or her problems. Problems with anxiety, and anxiety just means you're just not、uh, really comfortable in various situations. You worry a lot, you're nervous a lot, and you're probably shy around other people. She probably hasn't totally gotten over her shyness, but、uh, she's still able to keep it in check, keep it in control to be a performer. I suppose when she's off stage, she still is the quiet, shy girl she was when she was young. That's right. When you look at her. Videos. When you see her perform on stage, you wouldn't think that she was very shy or that she had problems with anxiety because she looks so confident and she's so passionate when she sings. So when someone like her, who is able to have this image for the public, is able to admit that she suffers from these problems, I think it helps a lot of people, especially her fans, feel better about their own problems if they have anxiety. Anxiety is a feeling of worry, but sometimes it can be so Serious that you feel like you're having a heart attack. Your heart starts beating really fast, and then you have dry mouth, and you have difficulty breathing. So it can be scary, and it's nice when your idol, someone you really look up to, can say, "Hey, I have the same problem too." Absolutely. So that is admirable of her to be open about her struggles with anxiety and something else called obsessive compulsive disorder. That's, I guess, when you're kind of obsessed about certain things and you can't stop thinking about those things. It can be very problematic if you have this condition. Right. Obsessive compulsive disorder, from what I know, is people who suffer from it. They tend to do things repeatedly, like wash their hands a lot. Or they have to walk a certain way, or the things around them need to be a certain way in order for them to feel comfortable. So it's a very complex disorder, psychological disorder. Maybe you know someone like that.、Uh, don't make fun of them. It's a real problem out there, and I'm sure the people who suffer from this. 
don't want to be that way. And in one long Instagram post to her fans, she shared that her nervous personality almost held her back from becoming a singer. So of course, these pop stars have a social media presence. So she has an account. On Instagram, and she writes things for her fans to read. That would be a post, and she wrote one time about her nervous personality and said, "Hey, it actually almost stopped me. It almost held me back from becoming a singer. At least I finally got it under control. But if I hadn't got it under control, I might still be back home living with my folks, doing some basic part-time job somewhere." Right. So sometimes when you have a problem, you should try to not let that. Problem hold you back and try to find a solution to deal with it. So here, to hold someone back means to prevent someone from doing something. You can prevent someone from being successful, or something can prevent you from being successful. For instance, her shyness held her back from being an actress. Okay, so yes, if she's a good actress, she shouldn't let her shyness hold her back. Now she used to believe that some people were born to be entertainers, but now knows that isn't true. You've heard that before. We kind of think some people are born with a natural talent, like Mozart, for example. People think that he was just born with that talent. He still had to develop it, but、uh, she does not believe that people are born to be entertainers. She thinks that isn't necessarily true. That's right. She says she told her fans, "You choose who you're going to be," urging them to push themselves to do what they are afraid of, just like she did. So she urges her fans to do what she did and be brave and to overcome their obstacles. To urge is to strongly advise someone about what action to take. So I could say something like, "I urge you to think carefully before making any decisions you might regret." That's right. Or you might see this. In the business letter, I urge you to accept our proposal. It's very fair. If you don't, your business is going to fail in the future. So you better do what we want you to. But in this particular case, she urged her fans to push themselves to do what they are afraid of, just like she did. So I guess she was afraid of being shy, of having anxiety, and having. Obsessive compulsive behavior, so she decided to face those problems head on, and she thinks that her fans should consider doing something like that as well. That's right, and of course, you know, she's talking about positive things, but we shouldn't always try to do things that we're afraid of. For instance, if those things are going to cause us harm or is going to be bad for us, then we shouldn't try to do it just because we're afraid of it. Yeah, I'm afraid of getting run over by a large truck. That does not mean I'm going to step out into Zhongxiao Donglu during rush hour and face my fears. That's just kind of silly. But you should face other kinds of fears that are more realistic. And、uh, now we're going to move on to the final portion and wrap up our story about Camila Cabello. Cabello has been on a roll since beginning her solo career, and it doesn't look like she'll be stopping anytime soon. She recently dropped her second album, *Romance*, and will even take to the big screen next year as Cinderella. Finally, the third part, we see the word "romance." This word is a noun, meaning romance, love relationship, romance. Such as, Abby likes movies with a lot of romance, but her boyfriend doesn't like to watch them. Abby likes to watch many romance stories in her movies. 但她的男友不喜欢看那些电影。或是 ，Paris is a city known for art, great food, and romance. 巴黎是个以艺术、美食和浪漫闻名的城市。And welcome back. So we're going to wrap up our story on Camila Cabello. We've seen that she is a very talented singer and actress and songwriter, and she has had to overcome shyness and anxiety to be where she is today. So Cabello has been on a roll since beginning her solo career, and it doesn't look like she'll be stopping anytime soon. So to be on a roll is to have a lot of success or a lot of good luck in what you're doing. You could. 
talk about this concerning various successful people, or maybe even your favorite sports team. Like, hey, my favorite team, the Washington Capitals, have been on a roll recently. They've won six games in a row. I'm so happy.、Uh, the Washington Capitals are a hockey team, by the way. So here, she's been on a roll. She's been quite successful, one success after another, and that has happened since she began her solo career. And it doesn't seem like she's going to look back anytime soon. She's going to continue. She's not going to be stopping. She recently dropped her. Second album, Romance, and will even take to the big screen next year as Cinderella. Boy, I can't wait! I love fairy tales when they're on the big screen. So we can also talk about releasing your album, putting it on the market. Here we're using the word "drop." She dropped her second album. She released it. You can now buy it or download it. Right, and her second album is called Romance, and romance, of course, it could mean a short romantic relationship, or it could mean a movie or a book of the romance genre. So this album is called Romance, and after that, she will even take to the big screen, meaning she will even star in a movie called Cinderella. So I'm curious. What that's going to be like. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation. Time now to listen to our Chinese teacher. <音楽>各位同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天的文法重点。好，我们在昨天的课文提到说 ，Camila Cabello 单飞去追寻自己的事业。那么后来呢，就有一些流言蜚语，有传言说他离团的这件事情有引起跟以前团员交恶。那么今天课文的第一句用到 bad blood， 它不是指坏掉的血哦 ，blood 它有血缘或是家族的意思。那么片语 bad blood 引申用来指说感情不和或者是人际之间的仇恨嫌隙，那它是不可数名词。我们可以造个例句。There's a lot of bad blood between them. 意思就是说，他们之间有很多恩怨，有很多的嫌隙。好，那顺便补充几个跟 blood 相关的用语。第一个叫做 blue blood， 字面上的意思是蓝色的血，可是它其实是指出身贵族的人。据说，因为古代欧洲贵族他们不需要外出去劳动去晒太阳，所以呢，肤色都很白皙，然后静脉血管很明显，看起来就好像是流着蓝色的血一样。于是就出现这样的用法。好，那么第二个补充的是 new blood， 就是新血。我们中文好像也有这种说法嘛，它就是指说刚加入某个团队、组织或是公司的新成员，尤其是指可以带来活力、朝气、带来新想法的新进人员。好，接着读到课文第一部分的第二句，他说 ，gossip didn't hurt her prospects of success。八卦并没有影响到他的成功机会。那这边有个单字 prospect， 我们来学它的字首字根。字首 p r o 表示向前，那么 s p e c t 这个字根它有看、看见或是查看的意思。好，向前查看，我们想想看哦，当我们向前看、看向远方的时候，会看到景色嘛？所以 prospect 这个字它其实有景象、景色或是视野的意思，尤其是指你从高处看到的景色。好，那我们中文说向前看的时候，其实也有抽象的含义，可以用来表达这种前途、前景，或者是展望，或者是成功的机会的意思。好，那再顺便补充几个有相同字根的单字，第一个是 aspect。A S P E C T， 好，它的字首 A 是来自 A D， 表示朝向、向。那么 S P E C T 表示看、观察、查看。那么合在一起 ，aspect 它表示观看、角度，它也有方面、层面的意思。第二个补充的是 suspect。S U S P E C T， 好，它的字首 S U S 表示在下方 ，S U S 就是来自 S U B， 只是因为后面接了 S 开头的字根，所以才会拼成这样。好，那么 S P E C T 则表示观看，在底下偷偷观看，那就表示不信任喽。所以 suspect 这个字当形容词，它表示可疑的、不可信的。当名词表示嫌疑犯，那么当动词它是念作 suspect， 它表示怀疑、猜疑。好，第三个补充的是 inspect，I N S P E C T， 它的字首 I N 表示往内。
那么 S P E C T 表示看，好，往内看，那就表示要仔细检查、审查或是检验哦。如果我们在 inspect 后面加上名词字尾 I O N， 变成名词 inspection， 就表示检查、检验或是审查。好，以上是今天重点整理，我们回顾今天单词吧。Amid employees made several mistakes amid the confusion over changes to workplace procedures. Departure. My manager's departure left a major hole in the company's chain of command. Prospect. Having so many connections in the tech industry should help your business prospects. Anxiety. Genes, diet, and stress are some of the contributing factors to anxiety disorders. Urge. I urge you to consider applying to the school, even if you're not sure you can get in. Romance. On Valentine's Day, we celebrate romance by showing our partners how much we value them. Discussion starter starts now. Here's our discussion starter for today, Helen. Here's the question: Do you agree that people choose who they're going to be? Why or why not? I disagree with her because I think even if we choose to become something, let's say a singer, if you can't sing, you don't have a good voice, or you're tone deaf, then you can't really be a singer. Exactly. So I think Camila Cabello is right that you can choose who you're going to be. But、uh, like Helen said, you need to be realistic. If you really don't have a good singing voice, then you have no business trying to belt out a tune. Well, that brings us to the end of another edition of our program. And please make sure you join us again next time. From all of us here, I am Roger. I'm Helen. See, See you, you next time. time.